Hi guys, uh, this is Titanic Blinky on the ZX Spectrum, uh, released in 1991. Um, the description I have here is pretty mental. Um, so there's a guy called Arthur J. Hackensack. He's a Texas billionaire bent on conquering the world. Of course he is. He has kidnapped somebody called Fro Bisher Goonhilly. Um, right. He's a paranormal scientist working on matter transformation weapons. Cool. As a demonstration of its power, Arthur transforms the Isle of Wight into a giant custard slice. <laughs> awesome. Uh, New York is a bath sponge and the Eiffel Tower is a toast rack. Um, Binky, uh, the secret agent for Spectre, um, he infiltrates the Madman's sea ship, the newly raised SS Titanic, and armed with an ectoplasmic, ectoplasmic gun and a case full of disguises. Right, so that's the blurb. Um, the game itself plays a bit different to um, the description of it. Um, so I'm just going to show you uh, some footage of the game. I'm going to have to put some kind of music underneath it as well because it that doesn't have music I'm pretty sure it does but um, I think the version I've got is probably 48k because it just goes like that whenever you pick anything up um, yeah so I'm gonna shut up and play the game a little bit uh, and then come back and give my thoughts on it afterwards um, thanks for watching here we go
Okay, so that was Titanic Blinky. Um, it's not a bad game. Uh, that last little bit there was mildly confusing. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do there. Um, but like the, the bits before, they were pretty cool. Um, right down the water bit there. Uh, Graphic-wise, it's pretty bold for a Spectrum game. Um, sound non-existent. It goes bleep, um, but does look like they spent quite a lot of time on on everything else instead. Uh, I think it was like a one ninety nine or a, a f two ninety nine budget game. So you know, f for your your three quid or your two quid, you, you were getting a fair bit of game there. And Zeppelin didn't tend to do like fantastic things. Um, I think this was their their take on like Dizzy. We're trying to rival Dizzy, which you know uh, during the eighties that was uh, a brave and bold move. You know, but Codemasters themselves, you know, they had Seymour as well, so they are CJ, um, little puff. They had you know they had plenty of little mascots. That other um, developers, uh, publishers definitely wanted, you know, wanted their own version of. And I think Blinky did. He had a few games, um, so I think he. He did give Zeppelin something to talk to, you know, to to play with. Um, overall, though, I, I would probably play that again. Um, I wanted to make the video relatively short, though. Um, but I, you know, once I know how to finish it, I might put up a video of me just running through it really quickly. Um, yeah, this is not a bad little game. Um, if you get a chance to give it a go, definitely do so. Uh, wouldn't do my usual rating, the um, rating out of 25, because it'd be unfair. Um, it's a Spectrum game, you know. Uh, so, sort of out of 5, uh, I would give it a solid 3.5. Um, yeah, it, it, it's well above average. Um, and for like the first in the series as well of uh, the Blinky games, pretty good. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. You take care. Bye bye.